What's up, y'all? I'm uh, just applying some varnish to this snowshoe. This is an uh, this is an important part of the process. The final step before the snowshoe is ready to be to be used. Oh, if you can hear me, I'm wearing a wearing a respirator. This, this varnish that I'm putting down it, uh, well, it has a lot of really nasty fumes that you really don't want to breathe in. Really, really not good for you. You know, you're supposed to do this in a uh, in a open an open area, not a definitely not an enclosed space. But uh, with this respirator, I don't smell anything. I I feel quite safe. Hopefully, I'm right about that. Yeah. The varnish protects the rope, protects the rope from, from wearing out, keeps it strong. And I think the, just the, the yellowing of the varnish as it dries, I think it makes it look quite nice. But I missed a few spots, so I have to make sure to touch them up. Any spots that look Look light. I'm trying to trying to touch up of all over both sides of this of this snowshoe. Yeah. I just had a word of encouragement I wanted to wanted to share with you. I know we're all in our all in lockdown and we're all very um, very anxious to to be free again, very anxious to get on with the rest of our lives, anxious for this anxious for this chapter to be over, anxious to have a normal Christmas again, right? And sometimes we just start feeling down about ourselves. We start to think, little old me, look at all the problems I have. No one else has these problems. Look at little old me. And just one of the one of the things, one of the ways that that we are is that that is one of the worst things you can do. Throwing a pity party for yourself. That's the worst thing you can do. If you feel sad right now, if you feel, yeah, if, if you just feel really sad, you feel down, I have a challenge for you. Think of something that you can do to bless another person around you. Think of something that you can do to help to help your family. I'm actually serious. Think of something kind that you can do for someone else. And do you know what's going to happen? When you focus on serving as Jesus served, when you focus on loving as Jesus loved, you're going to forget about your troubles. Whatever troubles you are, you have, whatever you're worried about, you'll you'll forget about them. Maybe that maybe you think that sounds corny, but it's true. Okay, it is true. Trust me. The more we 
focus on ourselves and how miserable we are, the more miserable you're going to be. But if you remember that God is with you and that there's more to life and you do something kind for someone else, well, you'll be a whole lot happier. So I think that's the key to surviving lockdown. Being kind to each other. Listening to each other. Loving each other. And don't forget to go outside. Nope. Don't forget to go outside. Well, I think I almost got all of the light patches now on this here snowshoe. I think I covered all, almost all of it. I'm going to keep looking around. I had them today. I looked at them in a different light and I said, whoa, I missed a spot or two. Now i got to fix it. Now i got to fix it up. Well, I hope you guys have a good day. I don't know what else to say. But I hope that you walk with Jesus. Yeah, I think we're done. I, I like it.